rules at home. So it finishes Manchester United 4, Leeds United 2. Of course, a significant result for Manchester United, given the results that we saw yesterday with, of course, Arsenal winning, Spurs winning. We saw Wolves beat Leicester as well today. United, though, remain fourth. They're four points clear of West Ham and Arsenal. Arsenal, though, have three games in hand. Well, for more on that result for Manchester United, uh, let's welcome in, shall we, Julian Rock, Frank LeBeouf. What are you wearing, Frank? Frank the Buff is with us in the chat. Where is Frank? Can you see him? It's a camouflage. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you don't like me? Yeah, you can make That's an effort. To, uh... Uh, Frank, uh, how would you assess this performance from Manchester United? Well, it's, it's, it's... Well, it's uh... It was a great performance, just to say that it's a Kashmir, but whatever. Uh, um, it's, uh, it, it was a good performance for, yes, I know. Uh, it, was, it was a good performance, I would say, overall, but we all know that the, uh, the consistency I've been lacking and, uh, and is still lacking at, uh, at Manchester United. So you can see, like, like in two minutes, that they can see, concede two goals, they can concede two goals and, and be in danger again. The talent is there. And I have to say, I have to give a big credit to uh, Rangnick because when he made the change on Fred uh, for Pogba, or for, for, on Pogba from, for, 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 sorry, Fred, I said, wow, he's crazy or what? Pogba is one of the, 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 the best player on the field, but, but Fred scored the goals right after. So it was a great, great uh, coach decision. And um, overall, I think Manchester United is, uh, deserve to win. But they're still very fragile. It's a three good points, but they're still very fragile for me. At 2-2, two -two, Stevie, you thought, it's happening again. They're going to throw away yet another lead. Yep. But you have to give credit to their character and resilience and bringing Fred on, yep. because in the end, they got the job done. Yeah, it was a good move. And at 2-2, two -two, I was thinking of all these stories with me here in the dressing room, and right. I thought, this will be a test. OK. Because this game suited to find out whether they had any character or whether they were together. Because you're playing against a side that just runs forever. That means you have to try and match it. The weather conditions were horrendous. It could be easy just to, to blame that. And of course, you've gone from 2-0 up, coasting, yeah. to 2-2. Two -two. And they came through it with flying colours. So all this nonsense with the dressing room, this second half performance coming back from 2-2, two -two, tells you that that's not the case because a team that's not together wouldn't have come back in that fashion and in that manner and that desire. And you could tell the way they were celebrating that they were all together. So this is a, I think this is a big result for them. I think it will probably shut a lot of people up that have been talking about all these stories about dressing room unrest. Right. Because that, that performance didn't, didn't have a problem with a dressing room on it. Jules, you and your journalists have been writing all about this dressing room unrest. Does it show that it's all nonsense <laughs> in the way in which they came back today? No, I mean, I agree with Stevie in the sense that you, you saw the togetherness today and the way they reacted after going to 2-2, to, 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 I think is a good in, indictment of, of where this team is at. However, there's still tensions in that dressing room and we know it between some players of different generations, for example, even around the armband and the captaincy, all of that. But you can still show togetherness even if you don't agree on who should be your captain or who should not be your captain. It's just that this was a huge win, like the Brighton one, really. Now, two, two wins in a row, by the way. Not playing great against Brighton, finding a way of, of winning. Today, I thought it was much better despite the conditions and the, the pitch was borderline playable, really. And yet, they, they fought hard, they controlled the game first, then, as they always do, threw away the lead, but then came back. Rangnick was good, so there was a lot of positives, but it's still not perfect yet, and I think there, there's still a lot of work to be done there. Hey, it was fun, though, Shaq. Every game should be played in the rain. Yeah, it, it was. It, listen, elements like that are, are a leveler. You know, if you're the less of two teams, that's the kind of conditions you want. And, and that's exactly who Leeds were and exactly what they got, especially at home in this derby. Um, and, and they almost made, made the most of it. But I, I, I think I'm with everybody else in saying that I, I thought United were fully deserving of the three points, um, d despite the, the comeback from, from, from Leeds. How you can't, you can't cater for, for that opening goal from, from Leeds to start the second half, um, and then they, they, they equalised soon after. But then I, I thought United show, showed a resolve that we've been asking for for, for quite some time, and, and credit to them, because they, they responded. And, and I think, despite the football not being great, this was a big morale-boosting performance for Manchester United.
and one that was needed, as I mentioned, because of what happened around them over the last 24 hours. We saw victories for Arsenal, obviously Spurs as well, Wolves beating Leicester. It is so tight in this race for a top four place. According to the bookies, it is Arsenal, excuse me, then Manchester United, then Spurs, then West Ham, then Wolves, in that order as to who will get fourth, Stevie. Do you agree? <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is, this is an ever-changing yep. answer. Because from week to week, we see performances and results that make you change your mind. Sure, and it's Arsenal Wolves midweek as well, which is huge. <sighs> I mean, I, two or three weeks ago, I said that I thought Tottenham might be all right. Right. And then last week, I decided, you know what? They've been so bad. Three losses, they're so bad, there's no way. And then they turn around and beat Manchester City. Yep. In Manchester. Honestly, it's a complete guess right now. You could throw a dart at all those names and, and you could be right. I'll tell you what, Frank, if you're going for value, Wolves at 20-1 to 1 isn't bad, is it? They didn't play particularly well today against Leicester, but they get the win and it's three more points. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.